today we're going to take a look at Patch App DX 1.1.2. It has new features and new improvements added, so let's take a look at it. The first new feature is called Bump. It allows you to take any selection from your hardware index and place it into an already pre-populated signal flow. It'll bump everything else down wherever you place it. Let's take a look. I'm going to start by populating a routing. Now in the past, if I wanted to place a new hardware selection into an active routing that did not have any open slots, I would have to drag down the selections to make space before placing a new hardware selection into the signal path. With Bump, you can now simply just drag your hardware selection halfway over the green indicator and it'll bump down all the hardware making space for that new addition. This is great for quickly adding new gear into your active signal flow without any additional steps. And it doesn't matter where you place it in the signal path, it'll always bump all the below hardware selections down. Multi-unit setup users got a big improvement in this version of Patch FDX. You no longer have to drag and drop sends and returns when you're moving between your patch series units. This all happens in the background now. Let me show you how this works. First, I'm gonna show you how my current multi-unit setup is with my two patches. You can see that I'm using inputs and outputs one through four to move analog signals between my two patches, with patch one being red and patch two being blue for easy identification. First, I'm gonna show you how in past versions you would use multi-unit setup without this new feature added in this version. Next, I'm gonna set up a routing that uses multi-unit functionality. First, I'm gonna come out of my converters on patch one and then into a channel strip connected to patch one. Then I'm gonna choose an available send to move my signal flow to my patch two. You can now see it pre-populated a receive after placing that send into the signal path. And the colored border has changed to blue, which indicates I'm now routing hardware that's connected to patch two. I'll choose two pieces of hardware to add to my signal chain that's connected to patch two and then find an available send with a blue border to send my signal flow back to patch one in order to complete my signal chain back to my converters. Now this example was how you would do multi-unit routings in past versions, but we've just made the process a lot more streamlined and better overall. I'm gonna show you how to activate the new multi-unit setup option and how it works with the same exact multi-unit signal chain. First, we need to go to settings, user preferences, the customize tab, and the fifth option up from the bottom, you will see a toggle that says automatically use multi-unit passes. Activate this option and click save. Now I'm gonna populate the same exact multi-unit setup routing with this new feature activated. You'll notice when I get to the step of adding a send to move to patch two from patch one, I don't have to do that anymore. I can simply just choose the next piece of processing hardware that is connected to patch two and it'll populate the send and receive in the background eliminating additional steps for audio professionals. You'll also notice that even though we did not select a send from the list, it automatically created this send in the background and grayed out one send as it's now in use in this specific signal chain. Studios with multiple rooms that use the patch series hardware along with Patch App DX have the need to be able to group specific systems together to control them only in that selected room. We actually built something brand new called grouping. This is under the Network Settings tab. Shout out to Audio Animals who actually beta tested this for us while we were developing it. Let's take a look at it. To access the grouping feature, we'll need to go to Settings and choose Network Settings. You'll see that we have two columns, Available Devices and then a Selected Group. Any iOS devices that are on or sharing the same network and haven't been already added to a group will appear here. You can see from this setup example, I already have my Mac, my iPad and my iPhone all put into a group named Studio One. To show you an example of setting up a new group, I'm gonna drag my iPad out of the Studio One group so I can place it into a new group. Then I'm gonna create the new group and call it Studio Two. I'm gonna add my iPad into the newly created group and save it. Now because I moved my iPad to a new group, it'll no longer communicate with the Patch App DX software that is connected and controlling my patch hardware in Studio One. I can now go back and take my iPad from Studio Two and put it back into the group Studio One and it'll automatically reconnect with my Patch App DX software that is connected and controlling my patch hardware in Studio One. Here's a quick tip. You can also access the network settings by clicking on the DX icon near the top and it'll also show you all the connected devices to your Patch App DX software. Of course, we had some new key command improvements. Uh, I'm not gonna go through them. You can see them right here. Okay, on to the next feature. 
If you're running a CX module, you're gonna love this one. We added a new feature that you can now select and control the gain right from the active routing grid. Let's take a look at it. First, I'm gonna have to recall a vocal routing that I already have stored in my quick strip recalls. In the past, if I wanted to adjust the gain on my CX, I would have to go to settings and CX setup to make that change. However, now I can simply just right click on my microphone and adjust the gain right from that pop-up window. This is just another way with each update we're streamlining your Flock Audio experience. With every update we do, we always add new customization features. This one follows CX. You can now choose when you're adjusting your gain on the digital dial, whether you want to do it in a radial format or you want to do it in a vertical format. Let's take a look at how to access this and how to use it. By default, your CX gain controls is set up as a radial scrolling format, as you see here. But if you prefer to do a vertical scrolling format instead of radial, you can change this by going to Settings, User Preferences, the Customize tab, and the seventh option up from the bottom reads CX Gain Control Radial Slash Vertical. You can change this to Vertical and select Save, and now your gain controls will only respond to vertical cursor movements. So in the past, when you were setting up a microphone with your CX module, you could only set up one specific gain setting per microphone. But now we made it even more versatile where you can actually change that gain setting with each stored routing and it'll recall that gain setting with that one specific microphone. I'll show you how this works. I'll start by recalling a vocal tracking routing called Lead Vocal 2. You can see here we have 33 dBU of gain for this tracking routing. But let's say I have two different vocalists for the same session, but one sings very hot and the other one is quite a bit quieter. So what I'll do is I'll create a duplicate of this tracking routing by choosing new in the stored routings bar and giving it a new name like lead vocal three. Then I'll save it. I'll add it into my quick strip for this example, and then I'll adjust the gain down to 18 dBU and overwrite the lead vocal three routing by clicking save. Now when I move between the two tracking routings, you can see each vocalist is using the same signal chain but have different gain settings for each vocalist. Of course with all our updates we do various bug fixes, you can see them all here. You can also see these on the release notes on our downloads page. For Patch XT users, in a couple weeks we're going to be releasing the public beta for Ethernet control over your Patch XT hardware. If you're a Patch XT user, you'll receive an email when this is available. So this is some of the new features and improvements built into Patch App DX 1.1.2. If you have other feature requests, definitely hit us up on our website under Request a Feature on the Downloads page. And as always, thank you for choosing Flock Audio.